Hey everyone, it's Justin. Hey guys, it's Will. And today at AV Lab, we have an awesome video for you today. Tell us more, Will. So today we're going to be doing a QA, and a um, mainly on the common misconceptions of pigeons and that in general, really. So, yeah. hope you enjoy. Awesome. Alrighty, Will. So, first question. Can Medina pigeons fly? So, originally Medina pigeons were bred back in Medina, Italy in the 1300s. So they were bred for meat and as an outcome, obviously, their beauty. So they didn't really want pigeons to be let loose and to fly away, you know, as they wanted to be cold as meat. So um, they weren't designed to fly. Um, they can have lift off, they can have a little flutter like chickens can. But um, yeah, they can't technically fly like a normal pigeon. Yeah, and another part of that question that we should probably answer is Medina pigeons, because they've been genetically modified by humans, they couldn't possibly live in the wild mm. without humans. So, yeah, they, they just can't fly, basically. Is the answer to that? Yeah. Yeah. Alrighty, next question. Okay, Justin, how long does a pigeon live for? Alrighty, so this is, there's no definite answer to this question, but in captivity, um, from what we've seen, Pigeons can live anywhere between 10 to 15 years and sometimes more. But if the pigeons are exposed to certain diseases, uh, if they're not looked after well, well, then your pigeon's probably going to live for only a few years because it's being exposed to poor conditions. So yeah. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. I completely agree. Awesome. Alrighty, so this next question I absolutely love because it kind of debunks the whole uh, myth around bird brain. So, Will, are you ready for this question? Yes, I am. Are pigeons smart? So, pigeons, normal racing pigeons, as of now, can remember the entire alphabet of just one memory, as well as a thousand different images um, in a row. So, um, they are really quite smart animals, and to be able to hone like they can uh, through memory as well is um, definitely debunks that theory. Awesome. Okay, Justin. Yes, Will. Are pigeons dirty? I'm glad you asked me this question. Because there's a general social perception around pigeons and that they're dirty. This is actually incorrect. Pigeons are very clean animals. And they actually don't transmit that many diseases. Okay. Yeah. So that's the answer to that. They are actually clean. Perfect. Alrighty. Next question. I reckon you'll love to answer this one. Yeah. Are pigeons good pets? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just, yes. So pigeons, they're actually, they're really amazing. So, um, as I probably said before, picking up the pigeons for the first time, they were already hand tamed, they were already, they were perfectly fine. They weren't even um, hand raised pigeons, so they were almost a wild kind of breed. Um, but the pigeons that we got, um, they were easily um, tameable, pettable. Um, they were perfect. And so if you're looking for a really uh, cheap animal, um, which is easy to maintain, um, which will be obviously affectionate, or not affectionate, but you'll be able to be easily affectionate to it, um, is a, a perfect uh, bird and animal to have. If you want a feathery BFF, go buy yourself a pigeon. Yep. Awesome. I agree. <laughs> okay, Justin. Yes. Do pigeons have diseases? Okay, this is actually a really funny question because every single creature, every single organism on this planet has diseases. So the answer to that, in short answer, is yes. But the thing is, there aren't that many diseases um, in pigeons. And that kind of goes back to our previous question, whereas are pigeons dirty? So I guess they're not that diseased. Well, yeah. yeah, I have to add to that, that also, if you're not going to maintain a loft for your pigeons, of course, there will be bacteria in your loft. Alrighty, so for this next question, I've got our mascot Cypress here. And are you ready for the question, Will? Yep. Okay, so it's, do pigeons like being petted? So pigeons, obviously hand-raised pigeons, they will be fine with being petted because they trust you as the owner um, or the guardian. But as, as a wild pigeon, they obviously would not like it because they feel threatened very much so by it. Um, so, but it's also a lot to do with how you pet the pigeon. Um, so obviously being gentle, stroking in the same green direction as the feathers. Um, yeah, so... That's really important, yeah. yeah. If you don't want to stroke a bird up against its chest, for example, because that's not the natural direction of its feathers. And for Cypress, the only way that she likes the opposite direction of her grain is on her head. 
which is a very natural way to kind of cream in a way. Yeah, I agree. And as you probably just saw, if you go back a little bit in the video, Justin was stroking the breast feathers up in the opposite direction and she became very agitated by that as you probably would have seen. Yeah. Um, so that's just proof that they obviously don't like it. But yeah. Awesome. Alrighty, so next question. Are pigeons loyal? So pigeons and homing pigeons um, in terms of loyalty are not like your general dog who will often come back um, to you as a person. But homing pigeons will come home if there's good food, uh, shelter, water, and obviously no threats in the area. So homing pigeons in that aspect are very loyal to okay. their owner. So what you're saying is if you look after your birds properly, they'll come back. Definitely. Awesome. Okay, Justin, yes. can pigeons fart? Can they? I don't think so, Will. You don't think so? No. No. I'm sure they'll emit a bit of gas, because, I mean, they got stomachs after all. Yeah. And, like humans, probably letting out a bit of stink every now and again. But, I've never heard a pigeon fart. Yeah. Have you? No. No. So the answer to that is, probably no. Cool. So, Will, if a mama pigeon and a daddy pigeon go to France, for example, would they have an inkling to kiss? So, with pigeons, and what I assume you mean is by breeding, um, pigeons will kiss, um, it's just a bonding process really, so in any breeding, any two pairs, uh, any pair, sorry, um, of pigeons, they will end up doing a kissing kind of um, ritual. As um, a part of their courtship. As a part of their courtship, definitely. Yeah. And just to um, prove to, the, to each other really that um, they can look after their young, that they um, have the ability to both uh, be the parent, uh, the dominant parent in the yeah. relationship. So um, it's definitely a nice thing to kind of see, but it's all to do with breeding. Yeah, awesome. Okay, Justin. Yep. How do you tell a pigeon's gender? Okay, so generally you can't, but around breeding season, you'll see that a lot of males coo. So they have this deep air sac in their neck, and they do this um, circle, this lap around the female. So here we have Cypress and she's a female and we don't typically see them walking around in circles or doing a male's coup or anything like that and they just kind of more passive than the males. So that's, that's kind of how we tell male from female. Yeah, it's yeah. very much how they act and their characteristics as well, so yeah. definitely. But I mean, a more reliable method is DNA sexing. So if you really want to find out for sure how you sex your birds or what sex they are, Go and go online actually, and there's a really awesome place um, in Australia that does it. So, yeah. Perfect. Cool. Alrighty, so this next question is a really strange one, but it's actually a very surprisingly common misconception. So, the question is do pigeons die when they mate? So, pigeons do not die when they mate. Their chicks are very parent dependent, so they require their parents pretty much until their mature age. Yeah, and also the parents produce something called a crop milk, which is only commonly found in three types of birds. So that the babies need this crop milk to grow very fast. So that's not true. It's false. Awesome. Okay, so Justin, final question. Can pigeons fly at night? So there's many theories um, around homing pigeons and their homing instincts. And one of the theories is conducting um, navigation to do with the position of the sun and UV light. So pigeons actually refuse to fly at night because they actually need the sun to navigate their way uh, when they're flying. So no, they don't fly at night. They don't fly at night. Alright everyone, so thank you for coming to watch AV Lab and our Q&A video. And if you want to see more videos like this, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to be updated on all the content that we upload in the future. Also to see more of these two, these are our new breeding pet. So uh, this is Cypress and that's Achilles. So you'll be seeing more of those in the future. So hopefully subscribe and like the video and we'll see you in the next one. Cool. See you guys. Oh no 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 no. Oh my gosh, they can fly. <laughs> <laughs> we just lied. Yeah.